So here I've got the example platform I've seen in GDevelop and I'm going to show you how to make a, a slope or like a ramp for stair clipping or just ramps and also how you can make the character not just stand there and get blocked by it, how it can smoothly glide up, right? So first of all, you might want to go into your actual uh, behavior if you're using a behavior and you'll see slope max angle. Currently this is at zero, which means that it won't be able to move up slopes but I can make it, for example, 45 degrees by just putting in 45. And now the max angle that it can walk up is 45 degrees. And so if you want it to be able to just scale walls, then you can go up to 90. So 89 is the maximum angle you can go to. If you try and do 90, it will just go down to nine. So I recommend 45. 45 is really the highest you'll need in most cases. And then you can just apply that. So up here, I've got this slope. This slope I've just called slope collider and it's the same size as my normal blocks. And in the hitboxes, I've just made a triangle. Three points and just made a triangle so that uh, this triangle is a perfect 45 degrees going from bottom left corner to top right corner. So if I play it now, you'll see I can glide up and down nice and easy. Of course it is a little bit stuttery but that's more to do with the actual behavior itself and you'll have to make your own movement for that and i'm not going to go into that because that's a bit advanced so the alternate way instead of using hitboxes is just by getting a normal cube and rotating it a certain amount so let's do this much for example and then we can just stretch it and put it where you want it so now you can play it there it is nice and simple of course, there's a tiny little bit of this block here, which is stopping the player from getting up. And so you will have to be quite precise with this. Those are some ways of how to do it. Hope this helped you. Have fun. Enjoy something. Mm -hmm.